Hi Gemini, welcome to your June tarot forecast with me. This is Brooke. Thank you for joining me. This is your general tarot reading for the month of June 2019. Please make sure to not only watch for your sun sign, but look out for your rising sign as well as your moon sign in these videos. So let's get started Gemini. I'm going to shuffle on camera. Which I normally don't do because it saves me time. So if you're not with if you're not down with the shuffle, my oven just went off. If you're not down with the shuffle, somebody timestamp it. Reading begins at because some people don't want to see the shuffle. <laughs> some people do want to see the shuffle. It just depends. Everybody's preference is different. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. Happy birthday to Gemini as well. We're in Gemini season. Hope it's been good for you so far. We're in Gemini season. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. Okay. All right, Gemini. I'm going to do a five card reading for June. Let's see. We come in with the theme for the month. We have the moon card. Moon's archetype is Pisces. Could be dealing with Pisces energy this month, but the moon card very much is the central theme or focus for your month in the month of June. This can deal with a lot of illusion when the moon appears, can also deal with deception when the moon appears, can also indicate fluctuation or fluctuating moods. It can also be indicative of things going on at night, okay? So this also can be an indicator that you may, Gemini, uh, be dealing with someone who's dealing or operating under an umbrella of illusion or deception, or you may feel that uh, someone is stealing your ideas, or you may feel that something's going on at night or going on behind your back, so to speak. So, this is dealing with fluctuation, especially if someone that you know or that you're with or in a relationship or in the workplace who, who has fluctuating mood swings or mood changes. This could be relative to yourselves as well. The moon can also indicate theft. So something is going on that's very much an illusion. Or Gemini, you're presenting something as, as an illusion to other people, where deep down inside, you may be dealing with something that you just do not want to bring to the surface, okay? So this is going to be different for a lot of those that are watching, but the moon is here, and something from the past is attached to the moon. So anything from your past, this could even go way back to your childhood, this could be patterns in relationships. We could be dealing with long-term, long-standing relationships with other people. This also could be something connected or connective to anyone from your past. Something's coming up or something that you're dealing with in the month of June could be relative to someone with the Six of Cups from your past, past memories, past relationships, past friendships. You may be looking back on these relationships or friendships this month. Someone from the past may resurface, okay, that you may have sus <laughs> some suspicions about and you may be like, why are you here? <laughs> I haven't heard from you in 10 years. Something needs to be looked at from the past where there also may be uh, an umbrella of deception that that person may be looking to you about or vice versa, okay? 
So something is to be looked at and something also is very connected to this person when it comes to money. The Ace of Pentacles is in the reading and this is very much about money, new beginnings, finances. This is also something where there may be uh, something new starting or new beginning starting with money, finances, prosperity, etc. The Ace of Pentacles also can signify when it comes to relationships, for my studies, loyalty. You can trust me. I'm stable. I'm secure. Okay? So if you have some suspicions arise, that could be a tie-in with this as well. The Ace of Pentacles can also be indicative of a payout. If you had, let's say, for example, an employer from your past who was very deceptive about your paycheck or was holding money back, this could be connected to a past job, boom, you could get your payout or a settlement that's coming in the month of June. So there's different ways to look at this, but there's something very centered around or very focused around financial transactions, financial gains, a new beginning when it comes to money. This also can be work, new jobs for some. This could be an inheritance that's coming. There's some form of prosperity coming in for Gemini in the month of June. Here we come in with the Hierophant Major Arcana. The Hierophant's dealing with values, tradition, morals, obligations, Okay, also rules, playing by, the, playing by the rule book. This is also coming from higher authority, institutions, universities, any place of higher learning. This is coming out of the most recent past. Something's attached to deception, money, past, higher institution. So there could be a scandal coming for some Geminis as well in the public eye, like a celebrity who's a Gemini, for example, maybe dealing with stuff like that. This also may be uh, for Geminis themselves or someone else in your life. But something's coming through that can be either, on the one hand, for Gemini, a real positive thing. It can also be a negative Okay, so we're looking at dealing with higher authority, higher institution. You may have been dealing with them coming out of the most recent past, etc. This is not going to be something that is overnight. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is long standing, this is ongoing. So the Seven of Pentacles is the harvest card. This is looking back on how far you've come in a situation, how much you've invested financially, how much you invested emotionally, how much time you gave to that relationship, that organization, uh, that community, that group of people, how much time you gave. And I'm not talking about four or five years. This is like 10, 20, 30, 40 50 years with the same person, the same relationship, the same job, the same community, the same uh, public domain, okay? So we're dealing with something that is very much long term. And the message is with the Seven of Pentacles is to keep going. To keep going and to not allow yourself to just give in. Research it, look at it get advice, talk about it, something needs to be looked at, okay, especially if you're investing or especially if you're working long-term in a career or for a person or if there's money owed to you, this is something that's very long-term and, and ongoing. So good luck to you, Gemini. Keep me posted. I hope this reading was helpful. Have a great month in the month of June, and I'll speak to you soon.